Hi guys, it's Rafi and Laurie from Martin Ollie Harness Brothers. Today we're at the BBC Good Food Show and yeah, so today we're just going to be wandering around having a look and later on today my dad's going to be cooking on a stage and yeah, right now Paul Hollywood's on the stage up there and yeah, we just met him and we've got a picture. I'll see if we can insert it in now and yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video and yeah, let's get right on with the video. Alright guys, so we just met Tommy Banks and Gwyn Hot Prunel and yeah, they're cooking right now on the big screen over here. They're having like a Michelin star bake off thing and we got one of his books, like he wrote a book of focuses and we got it all signed so yeah. Alright guys, so I know we're now backstage, we just got a picture with Tommy Banks and the other guy who signed the autograph for us and there's like loads more like famous chefs here. They're currently on the stage back there uh, doing a demo and yeah, soon my dad will be on it and yeah, we should be videoing it. Yeah, the research, you know, and, and this time of year now you're getting uh, the younger ones so we're not quite killing or shooting the stacks. He's an amazing Italian chef. If there are any TV producers in the uh, audience, this Man into his own TV show. Big round of applause, please, for Mario! Hey. How are you doing, chef? Well, thank you. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very well, thank you. I'm going to set on the sidelines. You're going to do a cookery demonstration. I'm going to ask you a few questions. But firstly, tell us what you're cooking. So, we're going to do a carbonara, which is proper carbonara. Proper carbonara. No cream involved. No cream involved. Pancetta, pecorino, pasta, and eggs. Eggs. That's it. Whole leg. Really a quick, easy pudding to do. Perfect yeah. for Christmas as well because it's stress free. I'm going to show you how to do it. So you need to start chopping, you need to chat and chop. Chef. So we're just waiting the pasta, yes. the water to boil. Yes. So once the pasta boil, I suggest we're going to start with the Yorkshire ricotta. Lovely. So all the time, when you do pudding, uh, dinner party, start with the last meal. So we start with the pudding. Okay. So we just get. So just a bit of background, you are, you are a cheese maker, ultimately you're a cheese maker. Alright guys, so we're going to cut to the main camera over here. Yeah, all the cheeses yeah. today is all great. Yeah. So like that, a blitzer, it makes nice smooth paste. And uh, like that, ricotta, ice and sugar. We're going to blitz up. Oh. We're just going to do it really quickly. So if you have ricotta, if you have ricotta from the from the shops, it's softer. And the only thing you have to do with ricotta from the shops is just cream the two, cream, cream the two, cream, like I'm making a butter. Exactly, cream, yeah. the, cream the two together. So that's we done. Lovely. We got it to the pieces in there. Yeah. So we put it. We got that. You can do it in the tumbler, in the cocktail glasses, and in a nice nice glass. Or you can do it in the chef away in the plates with a, a scoop or a panel. Do you know what's the joke of um, scoop, the difference between a scoop and a panel? No, what's the, joke, what's, the, what's the difference between a scoop and a panel? 20 quid. Fantastic. <laughs> Boom. That's, that's my, that is my friend Rob joke. I love we, that One joke. day came, we were doing the dining club and, and they said, and he come and help me. I struggled with the, with the people to work. And they yeah. said, Mario, I'll come and help you, I'll come and help you. And, and we started, Robert, can you do my scoop and I, uh, of ice cream? And he went, do you know the difference between scoop and a quenelle? And I said, yeah, the scoop is, no, it's 20 quid. And I said, oh. Amazing. So, could, so you, could you do this as a large one? If you wanted to make this into a large, like, sort of, um, uh, a large uh, yeah. trifle type thing? Yeah, you can do exactly the same. You put the butter, I do the Italian version, so it's really light. We don't use butter. So, lots of cuisine, they put butter in Italy. Butter is used on the north and south is olive oil. So. But what we can do, we just put it that, put it a little bit in the, nice. on the top. Um, crunch amariti biscuit. Lovely. You can get the cheap, you know, any dry amariti biscuit. Like that. You got the chocolate drops. Oh, lovely. Like that. And the thing I like about this is no cook, right? It's no cooking involved. No, no, it's not cooking involved. That's why it's stress free. Yeah. You know, if you would go guess, I'll improvise it. You want to do, I think, put a couple of berries so you got different texture. And you could make this ahead, put it in the fridge? Yeah, put it in the fridge, you stay, you know, three, yeah. four days in the fridge. Lovely. Put a clean fill on top so it does again extra flavour. Put it again, we repeat that. It's like basically, it's a half easy version of 
cheesecake. I was going to say, yeah, cheesecake. But is that the idea you can do, if you want you to do with the mascarpone as well? Yes. So, and once again, we repeat again. I've got a joke for you then. Come on. What um what cheese do you what cheese do you hide a small a small horse in? Uh, mascarpone. Mascarpone. Are you best strawberry? So we're gonna do one like that. What cheese do you eat in the castle? Mo mozzarella. <laughs> That's for the mozzarella. That. Some English. Stop with the cheesy jokes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like and he got some. Uh, that's I'm looking beautiful already. Bit of lemon zest. Lemon zest. Yeah. There we are. And that is the Yorkshire ricotta cheesecake. Fantastic. Really quick. So that's it. So that's it. That's it. That's it. That's dress dish number one. I mean, you made that whilst talking to me in about literally in about three or four minutes. We'll put that up here. That's our first dish. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Fantastic. So that's our that's our dish number one. Pasta. Pasta. Make sure all the time when you cook pasta. Yeah. I guess sometimes I see chef in television, I shout the teller. <laughs> so, pasta. Best way, al dente. Yeah. Don't overcook it, because it gets like a chewing gum. You know, you go and stick on the wall and yeah. stay there. So, on the packet, all the time is the cooking instruction. They say, uh, this one is 12 to 14 minutes, cook it for 10. Okay. So, one or two minutes less, it's al dente, we'll have to have a bite. Best way to open the pasta, People like, uh, Perfect. If, if you're a woman, get the hips like that. <laughs> we start. The trick of the good pasta, boiling water. You see lots of chefs, they go like that. Don't. No. Because you are doing the bean, you put it on the floor. Yeah. Because olive oil rises on top and the pasta is on the bottom. First thing you throw away is the olive oil and the pasta is in the pan. So. Here we go about five liters of salt. You should have between five and ten grams of salt for five liters. So we say all the time that water it needs to be salty as the Mediterranean Sea. Simple as. Get like that. Don't don't worry. It's you know what I love about this is we get a lot of chefs cooking a lot of very fancy food. We had Master Chef Winnie yesterday cooking a scallop dish with smoked cauliflower and crispy pancetta and pickled mushrooms and and I, it's lovely. We saw it. But I was like, mm, how many people are going to make this at home? You are getting a masterclass in in a in a in a in a dish which everyone loves to make, but no one actually makes that well. And this is something you can take home with you. This is how to cook pasta properly by an Italian. This is incredible. So portion, lada. That's hundred. A good portion of pasta per person. If you Italian, hundred to hundred and forty. If you English, eighty to hundred. Pure <laughs> lada. Two, make two. We get lunch. two. Three. Three. There we are. Yeah, lovely. Usually, for me, it's a packet it's just for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, quickly, the pasta, while the pasta is cooking, when it starts to boil, we take the, the, the timing. So, yeah. we make sure it's all together into the water. Yeah. So, because on the, otherwise, on the bottom, it starts cooking. And can you see on the top? Yeah. Nice, it will have a minute difference. Okay. Make sure that it can 10 seconds and then what all the pasta is inside. Lovely. So now we got I've got two oils. If you English and you want to support the local uh, yeah. you know local farmer, local producer, and from Yorkshire. Well it don't have to be in Yorkshire, but we got the Yorkshire Epsi oil. Fantastic for cooking as well. But we are sponsored by Filippo Berio. We're using the extra virgin <laughs> Filippo got, Berio. All the are available. <laughs> but yeah. But it's a Repsi oil. It's that it's Yorkshire's Repsi oil. It's fantastic. And the store is G2. They are here today as well. So we go like that. We put it over here. Pan, olive oil. Have you, have you ever thought about curing it? So you obviously you've killed the cheese market. Your, your cheese is now available. You know, the Queen eats your cheese as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> um, have you thought about curing your own meats? Is that, is that something you'd like to extend to? Have we, I've done it in the past, but okay. the paperwork is too much. Oh, that, really? uh, because it's an animal product. And once oh. you start to make it one, you cannot yeah. make the two. Because oh, okay. you have to have a completely different rule. Oh, wow. And we do it, we do it for, you know, for, my, for my own... Yeah. Like that. Uh, we don't. I don't the pancetta, I yeah. don't the sausage, I don't many different cured meat. 
But business-wise, now we are to concentrate on the cheese. On the cheese. And as well as the cheese, you do you you are running um, you run food stalls in in farmers markets. Yeah. Selling the tattoo, selling the cheeses. Absolutely. Yeah. I just bong you to say bong. So pan oil pancetta. So, so that as well as Fort Lauderdale Masons, this cheese is served. We had Tommy Banks up here earlier. Tommy Banks's restaurant. Black Swan. It's a loose accolade, but it's a huge accolade nonetheless. Voted best restaurant in the world by TripAdvisor. Independently, your cheese is one of the cheeses they serve. Yeah, on the uh, Leeds Blue is on the menu. On the yeah. it used to be on the Black Swan, and now it's in the new restaurant in Roots. on Roots. Yeah, that's in York. Um, and what other accolades has your as your, your cheese? You won twelve cheese awards. I won uh, World Cheese Award, uh, Yorkshire Cheese Award, yeah. uh, uh, Bristol Cheese Award. <laughs> And uh, last year we won top 60 best cheese in the world. There you go. So why is going to be that big today? I'm not going to walk through that door. <laughs> so really easy, quick one. Pancetta, I'm going to find out later. Garlic, 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 garlic. Doesn't matter, we don't need no, it. So, so it is, it's alright, we can do it. You put a whole clove of garlic. It's just whole clove, it's just got yeah. now there, layer. But we got olive oil, pancetta, we, if you notice, I'm not going to put any salt or black pepper no. because it's cured in salt and it's covered in black pepper. Nice. So you're going to over salt the dish. So put it like that and just leave it like that for two minutes. Don't get too caramelized okay. or burned because it will really crispy. We need to just soften the pancetta. Lots of chefs, they do crispy pancetta. You need to just have it soft, really, really soft. We check the pasta, now we pass it to the creamy, for, for make the cream, which just made with the egg yolks. This is the trick, okay? That so is lo the lots trick. Lots of people will tell you whole egg, it's not, it's the yolk. The yolk is the part that's going to make it super creamy. So I've, like seen, I've seen one of the chefs cook it this authentically, and his name, I don't know if you guys would have heard of him, his name was Gennaro Cantalo. And he cooks it like this. We did uh, we did a whole thing on carbonara because it's such a popular dish and it had cream. We cooked it every which way. And I kid you not, this is the way it should be cooked. What the name carbonara it means? Does it mean charcoal? Carbonara. It? Basically, it was one of the dishes yeah. where it used to go on the mine. They used to have eggs, bacon, and dry pasta. Yeah. And that it was the easy dish to make. Yeah. And from this exactly same recipe, if you take the egg yolk and you put the, the tomato, yeah. it's matriciana. Ah, la matriciana. If you yeah. take the egg yolk yeah. and, the, and the tomato, yeah. and you just leave the pepper, the cheese, it's, it's cacio e pepe. Yeah, cacio e pepe. So it's a three dishes, you got a repertoire, one, and you can make three, four dishes different. But I, essentially, I think... That's what we're looking this for. This is a dish loved by the British nation. It's like one that. of the dishes we love most. Why do we love it most? It's basically bacon and eggs. So you leave it like that and you let it cool down. You, while that's finished, so we just check it. All the time when you're cooking, you know, I've got lots of people say I can't cook because I burn those. So when you're cooking, you have to be in the kitchen. Next way, you don't know how to answer the phone or like that with the pasta. Hello, you have to be there. And that is the most important thing. Everybody can cook if you put a five, 10 minutes thing. The pasta is still, can you see, still, still uncooked, so we just put it there I need a little, as far we ask for, we make the sauce for the carbonara now. The trick is hot water yes. from the pasta, because that has got all the starch as well. Yeah. And we're making it like a, a light, a light cost, you know, nice. like a cooked cost. You know, you're basically, yeah, you're making, you're basically like making a holidays. Yeah. That's what comes rich, like a beautiful, rich holiday sauce. And that's the way I describe to someone, you've got which is one of the most delicious things in the world. You're basically making a bake a pancetta fat holidays, which, how delicious does that sound? Holidays is made with butter. Here we're getting all the flavor from the pancetta and we mix it in with egg yolks. You read a recipe that says whole eggs, it will work. That is gonna... not curd at all. No. So, and that will help you to make a really creamy, creamy sauce. So we check the pasta again. And Am I right in thinking in Sardinia they use a cut of pancetta that's a cheek or quale? Guanciale. Guanciale. It's hard to find the guanciale. Yes. So the best way you can get the pancetta any any Italian daily, but most English daily, then we will have it. But especially if you've got Christmas now, you've got lots of turkey, lots of beef, there's no reason why 
you can put that. What, you, what is nice as well, you can put some honey now. So you got sweet salt and pepper. And we use a ripsy oil, you know. We use a little bit of ripsy oil in here. Useful. There we are. That's that's where you know an Italian chef. He, he puts a bit of cheese on a bit of bread and it looks like an absolute dream. You know, I put the rind as well. This rind, don't throw it away. Put it, if you if you got a, a, a click, wrap it up, put it back in the fridge. The next day you're making tomato sauce or tomato. Use that for flavor your your, your sauce. And that is used. We use everything. Even on the rind of the cheese. The rind put in the sauce and that will actually give you flavor. So we check the thing, the pasta, that is done. It's all right, can you manage, yeah? <laughs> so, the pasta is done. What we're doing, we put the pasta into the sauce, not the sauce into the pasta. Pull like that. We check it out. One of the best things I've eaten all week. That's delicious. Absolutely delicious. Thank you. So you're not you're not over draining the pasta. The pasta the excess water is going into the. Yeah, pool. you can over drain it, but we just otherwise we're gonna make a mess in here. Yeah. We're gonna. Have a... Twenty-five years to work out. If you want your pasta to taste like it does in an Italian restaurant, you finish your pasta in the sauce. The two come together. You go from having two separate things to one dish that's, that's harmonious. Whether that's a tomato sauce, whether it's carbonara, finish your pasta for a minute or two in the sauce, and all of a sudden you will have pasta like they serve in an Italian restaurant. Of course, you have to have a little bit bigger pan. I'm cooking for free in here. Yeah. Okay, we have and and when, does the, when does the pecorino come in? Co it comes now, we put it on the end. So, <laughs> put it like that. So, because it's a bit watery, a we put it back on, back on, on the heat. Yeah, nice. And we, we call it restringer. So, we are intensify the flavor. Yeah. And you, we keep tossing it because you said tossing it, yeah. I'm not swearing, yeah? No, no, it's it's a tossing it. Sorry, my words don't come. Well, Sometimes I think I'll say something uh, and I'm, it looks like I'm swearing. We can say stir frying, but honestly, I, I, when, I peek, when I go to your, your, home, uh, your, your home island of, of Sardinia and I look in the back of the kitchen, in a pasta restaurant, all you see is chefs with lots of different, lots of different so, um, frying pans finishing the pasta in the sauce. In the sauce, yeah, because that, it, the pasta now it, is absorbing. You can see it, it's glossy, it's beautiful. The two things have come together. This is how that? the pasta is made. Now we get the Yorkshire. Oi, come here. Go well right away. There we are. We got the Yorkshire Pecorino Fiore. This one is cheap cheese, matured for six months. So it's got salt in. Put like that. There, grater. At this point, when, it's, when I'm at home, my wife comes in the kitchen and says, You made a mess! Well, I'm cooking, I'm not cleaning. <laughs> How is it possible? You made two dishes and you cook like for 200 people. There we are. Look at that. Absolutely Can you see? We got the, the sauce is not cared of at all. It's all coming together. But the eating is not on as well. <laughs> That's why it wasn't. <laughs> there we are. Put that back in. Yeah. Ah, now we're talking. Now we're cooking. And this is it. This is where you need to watch it. This is where you want you want to watch the, the egg thickening. It's what I meant about the holiday sauce before. You just want the egg yolks to thicken. They're not going to burn too much because you've had the water going through it. But what you're doing is the, the pasta is absorbing all that flavour. Regardless of the sauce. If you're doing this with the tomato sauce as well, finish the pasta in Into the sauce. The sauce. Yeah. There we are. It's beautiful, chef. Uh... Like that. that goes in the bowl, nice twist, nice twist at the end, fantastic. Put it back here, that'll be watered it, but we can, we can, when you go like the sauce like that, I'm cooking live, I haven't got anything, oh this is what fine. I made earlier. That's fine. When it's like that, just put it back in the heat and watch it, because if you don't watch it, it will curdle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just go like that, and you will see a point where it starts thickening really, like he's doing now. Yeah. 
And that is a trick for the culture pepper as well. Yeah. You know when you when we were talking about last yeah. two years ago about yeah. culture pepper. You pull out that, watch it, and you're making your sauce for the culture pepper. And you're Just the water and the, and pecorino. Like and ketchup and pepe, uh, uh, lots of pepper, yeah? Yeah, lots of pepper. There we are. Can you see it's that yeah. cotton in here? So we take it off. That's it. Get it. You know what? We, let's do another. That's beautiful. And that is all your cream. There we are. Look, we do one nice big all, portion. All, all the pancetta. There we are. All the and pancetta. You, you want to finish it with a bit more pecorino? Pecorino is here. Get it. You know, we got the rind, save it, don't throw it away. Yeah. We use for another, you can use it for a dish. There we are. Pecorino over the top. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is honestly one of the finest carbonaras you will ever make. So, we have proper carbonara, proper carbonara. made by a Sardinian, and we have Yorkshire ricotta cheesecake. Wonderful. If you want to find out any more about Mario or his company, we have leaflets here. If you, what's your name your website? It's Olianas. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. is our one. Used to be our name, but now it's Olianas. Yeah. UK. And if people want to find you on social media, it's Gusto Italiano UK, Twitter, Olianas Gusto Italiano Facebook, and Gusto Italiano Instagram. And which markets do you do in the north? Uh, Oakley. Uh, Harrogate, Hosforth, uh, uh, Cape Sarabi, which is just ended, and uh, Leeds, which is everywhere around 